Baker Still Science. Today I have a few extra special guests on the show. Hi. My assistant Maddie. What's up, Mads? With her uh uh stuffed animal Dolly and me, Maya, with my stuffed animal Bun Bun, which will be uh um assisting behind the camera. And Dolly will be helping us. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have for us today, Maya? So today, I, we're gonna make a soda and milk chemical reaction. So if you wanna do this experiment at home, you're gonna need some milk, an empty jar, um, um, a can of soda. Or any kind of soda, really, any food. dark soda. Yeah, and um, you're gonna want one of these. So if you have a bottle of soda, we'll show you at the end what you can do overnight with this experiment. So yes. first, let's show us the chemical reaction between the soda and the milk, Maya. So you're going to start by pouring, pouring this, um, your soda, into your empty jar. So. Okay, so I'm up close on the soda. Okay, so add. So you're gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna add all of your milk at once. You're gonna wanna do it like in tiny sections. That was a little. Okay, so you can see the soda and the milk mixing together there. It's called a chemical reaction. Okay, and you can see some stuff floating around. And you can see small little pieces. Bubbles are happening. Okay, so definitely the milk and the soda are not mixing well together. You no. start to see some weird clumps. Okay, so then show us the next part, Maya. So the next part is with a bottle. So you're gonna wanna take up your bottle of dark soda and you're gonna wanna, um, oops, um, you're gonna wanna empty it a bit so you have room for the milk. And you're just gonna take your milk, do the same thing you did with the, um, with the can, and just put in a tiny bit at a time. Okay. So I would say you could probably fill it up to almost the top with that milk, put the cap on, and you can see more reaction happening there. Okay, so put the lid on so it. So gonna put the lid on. All right, then show people what it will look like after they wait 24 so hours. So after 24 hours, your final product should look a little bit like this. There right, should be, crazy. there Let's should be things that look like, kind of like floating graham crackers in the bottle with like a clear center. Okay, so that's a chemical reaction between the soda and the milk. So then our question is, why does milk not mix well with soda? That's the question we'll be answering next time on Gear Skill Science. Thank you for joining us. Bye!